All right, good morning. We're gonna go ahead and get started. Welcome to yoga, I'm Jerry. Today we're gonna to get started on hands and knees. So if you're sitting on anything, just go ahead and move it off to the side for now. And we will start in table pose. Good, bringing your hands underneath your shoulders, knees beneath the hips. And we'll start with some simpler spine movement. So with your inhale, look forward and feel the tailbone lift behind you. And as you exhale, round your back, tuck the chin and tail under, feel the mid back reaching toward the ceiling. And then inhale, drop the chest again, look forward and exhale, round the back again. Inhale, looking forward, exhale, rounding the back. Just a few more times on your own, warming up the spine today. And moving with your breath, the inhale inspires you to look forward, the exhale inspires you to round the back. Wonderful, making this just a little bit more dynamic. Inhale, look forward, exhale, sink back into child's pose, seat to the heels, forehead to the floor. Inhale, rise back up to hands and knees, looking forward. Exhale again, child's pose, sinking back, continuing to move. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, release back. Again, moving with the breath. The inhale, bringing you up. And the exhale, releasing you back. Good, one more time. Then inhale, float up to hands and knees, curl the toes under, lifting the hips into the air, coming into downward facing dog. Good, and that's our first down dog of the morning. So go ahead and walk it out a bit, pressing one heel toward the floor, bending the opposite knee, and then switching sides. Just inviting some length to the legs here and also some length to your spine. So the hip bones are reaching toward the ceiling behind you. And we're breathing still. Good, just another breath or two here. And then inhale, float back down onto the hands and knees, looking forward, release the feet. Exhale, child's pose, seat to the heels, forehead to the floor. Stay here for a breath or two. Good, inhale, come back up to hands and knees. All right. So from hands and knees, go ahead and shoot your right leg out behind you, toes pointing toward the floor, and there's an inner rotation to the right hip, all right? Now look forward with the chest, take a deep breath in. With your exhale, bend the right knee, bring it into your chest and round the back. Then inhale, extend the leg back out, look forward. Exhale, bring the knee back into your chest. Inhale, extend it back out. Exhale, knee to chest, rounding the back. Inhale, extend. And let's keep going. Exhale, knee to chest. Inhale, back out. Exhale in. Inhale out. Going for just a little bit longer. Three, two, and one. Inhale, extend the leg back out and bring the knee down. Sway the hips from side to side for a moment. And then we'll do the other side. So bring the hips back to stillness. 
And you're gonna extend the left leg this time and just getting started here, point the toes toward the floor. So there's an inner rotation of the left hip. Looking forward with your chest, take a deep breath in. Exhale, bend the left knee, bring it in, round the back. Inhale, extend back out, look forward. Exhale, knee to chest. Inhale, extend. Exhale, knee to chest, rounding the back. Extend it back out, inhale, look forward. Keep going. Just a few more times. Three, two, last one. Inhale, extend it out and bring the knee down. Good, child's pose. Feeling sensation for a moment. Good. Then inhale back up to hands and knees. We're gonna do some more work for the core here. So you're gonna bring your elbows down to where your hands were. So coming down onto your forearms, but the elbows are still stacking underneath the shoulder. Good. Curling the toes under. You're gonna take the heels back as you lift the knees to come into a low plank, all right? So your hips are in line with your shoulders here. If anything, they're a little bit higher, just don't sag down and breathe. Think about pulling the chest away from the floor here. And try not to clench your teeth. And think about your tailbone traction downward towards your heels. So not tucking under excessively, but just a little bit of elongation of the lower back. Stay for about 10 more seconds. It's a long 10 seconds. <laughs> Go ahead and bring the knees down. Walk back up onto your hands. And again, child's pose. Take an adjusting breath. Good. So in child's pose, bring your arms down by your sides, palms face up. And then we're gonna do a movement from here with hero's pose. So with your next inhale, sweep the arms out to the side, lift up onto the knees and reach your arms overhead, looking up. With your exhale, with control from your center, sweep the arms down and bring the chest back down to your thighs. Good, let's do that again. Inhale, sweep the arms out to the sides, lifting up, reaching overhead. Exhale, slowly release back down with control. Inhale, coming up. Exhale, release. Inhale, rise. Exhale, release. A few more times, lifting up, inhale, and especially at the top, turning the chest to look up. Exhale, releasing down. Inhale, rise. Exhale, release. Good. This time, inhale, rise all the way up. Stay up. Again, turning the chest toward the ceiling a bit, looking up, breathe. And then staying on your knees, release your arms down, bring your palms to your chest. Good, and with control, go ahead and bring your right foot forward and step up to standing. Just, just as a transition, that's all that was. <laughs> All right, 
So now I'd ask you to take a wide stance on your yoga mat, all right? Feet nice and wide apart. And for this exercise, I'll have you take the toes pointing out to the sides about 45 degrees so the knees bend pretty easily, okay? Now, if at any point during this exercise, it feels like the feet are just too far apart or too narrow, feel free to adjust your stance, okay? Bring your hands onto your hips, take a deep breath in. With your exhale, bend your knees toward your toes. Then inhale, straighten the legs. Good, again, exhale, bend your knees toward the toes, sinking down. Inhale, come back up. Doing this a few more times, just getting used to a squat today. <laughs> Good, one more time, exhale, sink down. Then inhale, straighten the legs. Now in a moment, we're gonna come back into that squat, but I want us to do it with something else going on. <laughs> so go ahead and drop your arms down in front of you. And then go ahead and cross your arms in front, sweep them up, take them far back behind you, and then sweep them forward and keep going. So doing these big windmill with the arms, feeling the full rotation of the shoulder joints. And I always like to say in this one, make it dramatic. Round the back as you come forward, open the chest as you lift up. And make sure that you're breathing. These big movements of the shoulders, of the arms, inviting some energy in today. Now keep the arms moving and bend the knees. Try not to slap your thighs. <laughs> Breathe. Going for just a little bit longer, it's okay if your shoulders start to feel a little bit fatigued. Three, two, and one. Straighten the legs, release the arms down. Hmm. Feeling sensation. Good, now we do have to do that exercise again, but we're doing it in the other direction. So we were kind of doing these back strokes before. Now we have to do the forward strokes with the arms, all right? So same process, we'll get the arms started and then we'll add the legs. So arms dropping down, then inhale, sweep them back, up, cross in front and down. Back, up, cross in front and down. Just get the movement into your body. And again, you can make it a little bit more dramatic in the shoulders and chest. Breathe. And your arms might be a little bit heavy already because we already did the first direction. Go ahead and bend the knees, sink down, try not to slap the thighs. Deep breaths in and out. We're gonna go for just a little bit longer to keep the knees bending. Three, two, and one, release the arms and straighten the legs. Feel sensation for a moment. Hmm. Beautiful. Then from here, turn your toes to point directly forward. If anything, you're pigeon toeing a little bit or the toes pointing inward. This will give you more access to the backs of your legs and to your lower back. And so from here, I'll ask you to interlace your fingers, but do that behind your back, all right? Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Lift the arms off the back as much as you can. Now bend the knees just a little, a little bit here. We come into the fold, we wanna make sure that the knees are not locked. So lifting the arms off the back, 
go ahead and hinge at the hips, fold forward. Again, arms coming off the back. And your shoulder blades are slipping up towards your neck. And though the legs are straight, again, do not lock the knees. And breathe. Good, staying in the forward fold, go ahead and release the hands toward the floor. Good. And then from the forward fold, staying in it pretty much, <laughs> you're gonna walk your hands or fingertips over toward your left foot. So especially with that right arm, reaching as far to the left as you can while you stay in the fold. We'll breathe here for just a little bit. Good, walk the hands back to center and let's walk the hands over to the right foot now. Hands or fingertips reaching to the right, especially with that left arm. One more breath here. And then walk the hands back to center. Bending the knees just a little bit, roll yourself all the way up to standing. All right. So we're gonna stay in that wide leg stance. I just have to hydrate real quick. You're welcome to hydrate too. All right. When you're ready, we're gonna do another exercise here. Again, the toes are pointing directly forward. If anything, they're pigeon toeing slightly. Good. And you can watch me do one or two of these real quick because uh, I wanna make sure that you have everything you need. <laughs> so taking the arms out to the side, take a deep breath in. With my exhale, I'm gonna bend my left knee just a little bit. I'm gonna bring my right hand down in front of the left foot and then roll the top shoulder back to twist. And then in Inhale, I'm gonna come all the way back up and then I'll do the other side, bending the right knee, bringing the left hand down in front of the foot and rolling the top shoulder back. And then inhale, coming up. So it's one big exhale going down to a side. It's okay to bend the knee of the leg that you're heading towards. And at the end of the exhale, you're rolling the top shoulder back to complete the twist. All right, just do your best. Take the arms out to the side, take a deep breath in. Exhale, bend the left knee, bring the right hand down, twist. Inhale, come all the way back up. Exhale, bend the right knee, bring the left hand down, roll the right shoulder back, twist. Inhale up. And then just keep going at your own pace. Exhale, twisting down. Inhale, rising up. And exhale, twisting to the other side. And keep going. Exhaling to one side, twist. Inhaling back up. Exhaling to the other side, twist. Inhaling back up. We'll do a couple more on each side, all right? Good. Now exhale, twist to the first side. Right hand in front of the left foot, roll into the twist and stay for about three breaths. And if it's too much to have the hand in the air, you can bring that onto your hip and roll the shoulder back from here. Good. 
Good. Inhale, come back up. And just go to the next side. <laughs> Left hand in front of the right foot. Coming into the twist, rolling the right shoulder back. Again, that hand can, in the air can come onto your hip if you'd like. Good, inhale, unwind, come up. And then just fold forward over both legs for a moment. Good. All right, when you're ready, go ahead and roll yourself all the way up to standing, standing again. <laughs> and feel free to step the feet together. Good. After all that wide leg stancing, it probably feels good not to have the legs wide for a moment. All right. So we're going to do a, I will call it a simpler sun salutation. <laughs> Doesn't mean it's simple. But there's not going to be a, a lot of flair to it as far as like lunges and craziness. Um, basically, we're going to work with a flow in the middle of the sun salutation that uh, helps to work the core a little bit. All right. So stepping to the top of your mat, bring your feet about hip width apart, palms to the heart. And as always, we'll move with the breath. With your inhale, sweep your arms down, back and up. And with your exhale, hinge at the hips and swan dive, fold forward and down. Pressing palms to shins, come halfway up, inhale. And exhale, fold down. And please step back to downward facing dog. Good. Inhale into plank pose, straight line push up. Now for this next one, you can do this with the knees lifted or the knees on your mat. But we're going to bend the elbows and toward the chest and bring, or in the right, elbows toward your side, bring the chest one inch from the floor. Come onto the tops of the feet, press the arms straight, take the shoulders back, knees lift, upward facing dog. And then exhale, feel a pull behind your navel that draws you back into downward facing dog. Now, just for repetition's sake, let's do that again. Inhale, plank pose. Exhale, come one inch from the floor with the chest. And then press the arm straight, come onto the tops of the feet. Upward facing dog, looking up. And then exhale, pull back into downward facing dog. Good, looking at the place between your thumbs, carefully step the feet forward, standing forward fold. Inhale, press palms to shins, come halfway up. Exhale, fold down. Sweep the arms out to the sides, the strong back, lift all the way up to standing. And then palms together at your heart. Good, let's do that again. Inhale, sweep the arms down, back and up. Exhale, swan dive, fold forward and down. Palms to shins, halfway up, inhale. Exhale, release, stepping back to downward facing dog. Good, plank pose, inhale. Exhale, one inch from the floor. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Looking at the space between your thumbs, stepping the feet forward. Palms to shins, halfway up and in. Exhale, fold down. Sweep the arms out to the sides, come all the way up. And palms to the heart. We're gonna keep this moving. Inhale, sweep the arms down, back and up. Exhale, swan dive, fold forward again. Palms to shins, chest is parallel to the floor, come halfway up. Exhale, fold down, downward facing dog. Plank pose. Exhale, chest one inch from the floor. And then come onto the tops of the feet, upward facing dog. And exhale back into downward facing dog. Good. Looking between the thumbs, carefully step the feet forward. Halfway up, inhale. Exhale, fold down. Inhale, sweep the arms out to the sides, coming all the way up. This time, exhale, just fold forward again. Palms to shins. Exhale, release, carefully step back. Downward facing dog. Plank, one inch from the floor. 
upward facing dog, downward facing dog, looking forward, step forward, palms to shins halfway up, exhale, fold, sweep the arms out to the sides, come all the way up, exhale, fold all the way forward, again, halfway up, exhale, release, step back, downward facing dog, plank pose, one inch from the floor, upward facing dog, downward facing dog, looking forward, step forward, halfway up and down, arms out to the sides, coming all the way up, inhale, one more time, fold forward, halfway and down, stepping back, Plank pose, exhale one inch from the floor, upward facing dog, inhale, downward facing dog, exhale. Good, let's stay in down dog for a moment, just feel sensation. Good, then come back into plank pose. Why not, let's stay for 30 seconds. <laughs> Again, hips are in line with the shoulders. Don't sag down. It's, and if anything, it's better to have the hips too high than too low. Try not to clench your teeth and please breathe. You're almost there. Good, bring your chest one inch from the floor. Come onto the tops of the feet, press into upward facing dog. Then exhale, pull back into downward facing dog. Good job. Beautiful. <laughs> Inhale, float down onto hands and knees and exhale, child's pose. Take an adjusting breath. And if your wrists need a break, you can turn your palms upward here. Good. When you're ready, please roll yourself up to a seat and bring your legs out in front of you. Good, we're gonna do a twist next. So with your left leg extended, bring your right knee into your chest, okay? And you're gonna take the right foot across the leg to the outside of the left leg. Now flex the left foot, pull the toes back, and then pull your body up on the knee, like just draw the chest upwards so you're sitting as tall as you can. Now keeping that length, if it's your right knee on top, it's your right hand behind your back. Good. Then inhale, lift the left arm up. Exhale, sweep the left arm around, hook the knee with the arm and twist, rolling the right shoulder back, looking behind you. Staying for just a few breaths. Good, then carefully unwind, uncross, and we'll do the other side. Left knee comes in, take the foot across, sitting up tall, <laughs> take the left hand behind you. Inhale, reach the right arm up. Exhale, sweep the arm across, hook the knee and twist, rolling your left shoulder back this time. And again, staying for about two to three breaths. Good, inhale, carefully unwind and uncross. Extending both legs forward, take a deep breath and lift your arms up. Then think about hinging at the hips as you fold forward for a moment. Don't 
try to reach the feet here, just arms uh, and hands on the legs. And you might even give yourself just a gentle tug. You don't pull yourself too far past your range of motion, but just a little bit of a, of a tug here to help stretch the lower back. And then inhale, sit back up. All right, great job today. That's our class for at least this week. I look forward to seeing you again next time. And of